Today, we're going to learn about functions. Functions can be represented by three ways. First, the arrow diagram. On the left side, we call it domain. And on the right side, we call it codomain. Okay, this is a function, it's a factor of, we write on top of the arrow. Okay, it's a label as A, and this I label as B. Okay, the objects in A, for example, 2, 3, and 5. Okay, whereas the images in the codomain are 4, 5, 6, and 7. Okay, 2 is a factor of 4, 2 is also a factor of 6, okay? and 3 is a factor of 6, 5 is a factor of 5. The second way is by using ordered pairs. For example, you draw a curly bracket. 2, 4, 2, 6, 3, 6, and 5, 5. Then we draw another curly bracket. The third way is by using the graph method. Okay, on the x axis, we label as set A. On the y axis, we label as set B. Okay, then on the x-axis, we label from 1 to 6. And on the y-axis, we also label from 1 to 6. Okay, we use back the same example as the above, 2, 4, 2, 6, 3, 6, and 5, 5. Four types of relations. First, one-to-one -one relation, which means that one object has only one image. Okay? Next, one-to-many, which means that one object has more than one image. Okay? Many to one means two objects has the same image. Okay? Many to many it can be one object has two images. Okay? Or Two object has the same image. In functions, there are a few important terms that we have to remember. Okay? Firstly, the domain. In this question, the domain will be on the left hand side, the codomain will be the right hand side. Okay? So the domain is negative 1, 0, 1, and 2. Okay, for the codomain, will be 0, 2, 4, and 8. Okay, and the range will be 0, 2, and 8. Okay, remember, the domain, codomain, the range, okay, the answers, you have to write the curly brackets, yeah? Okay, for the objects, will be negative 1, 0, 1, and 2. Okay, the images are 0, 2, and 8. Okay, this is an example of a question for composite functions. Yeah? If fx is 2x squared plus 1 and gx is x plus 3, find gf and fg. Okay, so there are two questions here that we have to answer. Yeah, so A, 
for GF. So we write back the same, the question, okay, fx equals 2x squared plus 1, gx equals to x plus 3. So find gfx. Okay, so g, so fx is 2x squared plus 1. Okay, so we're going to substitute this 2x squared plus 1 into g function. Then we open up the bracket. So my final answer is 2x squared plus 4. Okay, so this is the final answer. Yeah? Okay, now we're going to solve fg. So fg... Equals, so gx is x plus 3. So it will be f bracket x plus 3. Okay? And equals. So this x plus 3, I'm going to substitute in the function f. So it will be 2 bracket x plus 3, whole thing squared, plus 1. Okay? So now I'm going to open up this bracket. Okay? Expand this bracket. Become 2 bracket x squared plus 6x plus 9. Then, bring down the 1. Okay? Then, equals to, then I expand the bracket. 2x squared plus 12x plus, so 2 times 9 is 18 plus 1 is 19. So, this is my final answer. Learn about inverse functions. Example, if fx equals to 2x plus 1 over x minus 3, find the inverse function of f. Okay? So, we start off with, let f inverse x equals to y. Okay? So therefore, f y equals to x. Okay? If it's f x, then on the right hand side it will be in terms of x. If it's f y, okay, then on the right hand side it will be in terms of y. Yeah? Okay, so 2y plus 1 over y minus 3 equals to x okay then we bring the denominator to the right hand side becomes x bracket y minus 3 so we expand the bracket become x y minus 3x bring down 2y plus 1 okay next we try to gather all the y to one side becomes x y minus 2y okay then we bring over negative 3x to the left hand side become 3x plus 1 Okay, next, we see there are two y's, two terms in terms of y, so we factorize the y, so it become y bracket x minus 2, close bracket. Bring down 3x plus 1. Okay, then we make y as a subject, so y equals to 3x plus 1 over x minus 2. Okay, and we cannot leave the answer as y equals, yeah, so you have to write therefore, f inverse x okay, equals 3x plus 1 over x minus 2 with the condition x cannot be equal to 2. Okay? Because if x equals to 2, then the denominator will be 0. So something divided by 0 is infinity. Okay? So therefore, it's a must to write the condition. Yeah?